right, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up um, the slide, the wet mount, stained with methylene blue, in order to do the yeast viability assay. So in this assay, you take yeast cells and you make a wet mount and then you stain the wet mount using a dye called methylene blue and it's name it's it is blue okay and what this dye does is the dye can exist in two forms just like a coenzyme and so it can exist as a reduced molecule carrying extra electrons or it can exist as an oxidized molecule lacking these extra electrons when it is in the oxidized form the color is blue when it is in the reduced form, it's clear or colorless. And that turns out to be a really handy property because when you stain yeast cells with methylene blue, if the cells are alive, then they're actively doing metabolism. And that means they're moving electrons around intracellularly. And if they're alive and they're doing metabolism, some of those electrons will end up being dumped onto methylene blue. And that will take the blue dye and it will convert it to the colorless form. And those cells will appear clear through the microscope when you examine them microscopically. If the cells are dead or non-viable, they will soak up the oxidized blue form of the methylene blue and they will stay blue because they're not doing metabolism. They don't actively have electrons flowing through biochemical pathways. So a clear cell is alive because it's metabolizing the methylene blue, dumping electrons onto it. And a blue cell is dead because it's not able to do anything to the oxidized methylene blue. So we test this as a really simple assay. You can have your yeast solution, right? I've got some here in a beaker and you've got to have a slide, a glass slide. You need cover slips. You need some way to aliquot yeast onto the slide. I'm going to use a P100 pipette or 500 microliters. And then you need um, the methylene blue. So what you will do is you'll set your pipetter to 50 microliters and you will grab a tip. All right, so I loaded a tip onto my pipetter and then I will pipette up 500 microliters. So I push the stopper down. I move this so you can see a little better. I will draw the solution up and then I will put it onto the microscope slide right in the middle. Ditch my tip. Then I will put a cover slip, cover slip onto the top of the yeast. Now I've got a wet mount. Then I will take my methylene blue and I will pop the cap off it and I will take the methylene blue and I'll make a drop right beside the cover slip. Let me see if I can move the camera to show you what happened. So there is the slide and you can see the methylene blue is edging out along the edge of the cover slip and it's being wicked underneath the um, cover slip into the yeast sample that is on the slide. And I'll let that sit for a minute and I'll let the methylene blue diffuse through that wet mount. And then what I will do is dab up a little bit of the extra methylene blue with a Kim wipe. And then I will be ready to view the slide. 